system is at work and everybody is in every boy, every girl, every man, and every woman. It's a system of creation. The system of creation, the way God created the entire universe, he created the world and everything in it. That same system is in each and every one of us. And it's a system that, if not understood, then life appears to be happening at random. You have no control over your life. You feel that way, but it's not, it's not really the truth. It might be a fact, but it's not the truth. Where do we begin? You're going to get everything that you desire. You're not going to get anything else. Everything that you can imagine yourself doing or being or having, those are the things that, that you have selected for your life. Everything is suggestion. Everything is suggestion. By the time we realize that we got something, that we want it, we forgot how we got it. So then we're un unable to retrace our steps to be able to do it again when there's something that we desire to have. It comes down to emotional thought within our imagination. If we have a thought and we put an emotional label with it, it becomes something that goes into our imagination. From there, it drops into your heart. That's where you're going to believe it. Once you believe it, it's going to give you the words to say and the actions to take to bring that desire into your life. It doesn't matter what it is. New house, new car, extra money in the bank start a business, start a family, it doesn't matter what it is. If it goes through that process of emotional thought within your imagination and you believe it in your heart, that's where you're going to believe. It's going to give you the words to say and the action to take. If you try to pick the words and pick the action without going through the process, you won't get the thing that you wanted. You won't fulfill your desire. Your desire will go unfulfilled. It's only the things that go through that process that make it into your life. Anything for you, anything for someone else, if it goes through that process, you'll see it manifested in your life. If you think of an issue or a problem, there's always a solution to that problem and a higher thought. The way to get that thought is to imagine what you want. Imagine what you desire. Imagine the situation the way you would like it to be. Once you do that, you now have an imagination with thought and emotion. If you keep looking at that, instead of your current situation of what's already been physically fulfilled in your life, then that will drop into your heart. You will believe it. And here's the thing that most of us have a really hard time doing. Believing the things in our imagination. Everything in our imagination is real, but it's a real suggestion. It's a suggestion. When you have a thought, it's a suggestion. When you have an imagination, it's a suggestion. You're saying yes or you're saying no. What are you saying yes and no to? You're saying yes, I believe it, or no, I don't believe it. If you believe it, then you just selected that for your life. If you believe it, you selected that for your life. If you don't select it, it keeps moving. It's like a commercial, TV commercial, for whatever product, whatever service. If it's not for you or you don't like it, then you ignore it. And that goes to 
to the next person. It will go to the person that that wants it, needs it, desires it. Now it's being advertised to them and they would receive that suggestion. Go to the store and get it. If you don't want it, you're not going to go to the store and get it. As a matter of fact, your awareness of it is of utmost importance as well. Because if you don't have the awareness of something, you can't do it. It doesn't matter if there, if it's a grocery store right next to your house. If, if you don't have the awareness of that grocery store, you will never step foot in that grocery store. But get this, neither can you step foot in that grocery store. You cannot walk in if you don't have the awareness of it. But once you have the awareness of something, then now you can decide whether or not it's for you, whether or not you enjoy it, whether or not it's something that would benefit your life. It's a system that flows through us, but this is, this is the system of creation within all of us. We just don't know it. So if we had the awareness of this, then we would be using this to our advantage. We would be using this to bring things into our life that we would like to have in our life. But if we don't have the awareness of it, then we kind of drift and whatever happens seems to just happen. Your life is 100% predictable. As a matter of fact, the best psychics and mediums can predict very accurately to people who believe what they say. Because what they're saying to you is a suggestion. It's a suggestion for you to believe. If you believe it, it now belongs to you. It can drop into your heart, it'll come out of your mouth, and the actions to bring it to you will be shown to you. But a successful psychic or a medium will tell you something. If you believe what they say, then you've accepted that suggestion. It can't happen for you or to you if you don't believe it. You've accepted the suggestion. You've accepted the advertisement. You've accepted the TV commercial for that product, for that service, for that lifestyle, for whatever thing that they said you're going to have or, or you're going to do. It will go into your imagination with emotional thought. It will drop into your heart. The actions are going to come. The words are going to come. And you're going to have it. blessing can't work unless you believe it and a curse can't work unless you believe it if you look at anything that you've ever gotten in your life ever you can trace it back to emotional thought within your imagination you can find the thought that you were thinking that brought that thing to you the emotional thought is that seed that goes into your subconscious mind and it goes into your imagination. It's going to be the very thing that forms your life. And it behooves us to know how we get what we get in life. This way we're not walking aimlessly, trying to figure things out. You don't have to figure anything out. You simply need to know how to imagine. Just, just like little children have vivid imagination, we need to bring back our vivid imagination and know that what we imagine is now a real suggestion. It hasn't entered our life yet. It's still invisible, but it's a real thing. It's, it, it's more real than what you can actually see, touch, hear, feel, etc. It's actually more real. Because it's the base of everything that you can see. You can think of it in another way and say, well, uh, every invention first began in someone's mind and in, inside of their imagination. It was a thought. They added emotion to the thought and put it in their imagination. They couldn't shake it and it dropped into their heart. It produced words to say and actions to take. Now that product that was only once in their mind, once in their imagination, once a thought, an invisible thing in the spiritual realm, 
is now a real tangible physical product or business or service. Everything comes out of the invisible and you produce from the invisible. Every thought, every imagination that you have is a suggestion for you. If you like the suggestion, don't turn it away. Accept it. It's God showing it to you. It's a good thing. Do you have a good thought? Do you have a good uh, emotion label attached to it? Is it a beautiful imagination? Then God gave it to you. Is it under, under the umbrella of love? God gave it to you. If it's hate or anger or fear, that's not that's not God. You got to know the difference and make a choice as to what you will bring forth into the earth. Everything that you think and imagine can be brought forth if you accepted everything that came into your thoughts and imagination. But since we don't accept everything, it's only going to be the things that drop into our into our believing heart that's going to produce words to speak and the actions to take. We have to do this from the inside out. The inside out. We have to go inside and out. If we attempt to, to, to fix our issues or our problems or our situation from the physical world, from the physical side of things, that, that's an uphill battle. And there's no way that you're going to be able to uh, defeat those types of giants with, within your physical ability. We were not designed to handle these types of things um, without our spirit, without our spirit man, our spirit woman, our spirit self. We, we, we were intended to operate like God and create just like God. We were, you know, we were in his image and in his like likeness. That's how we were made. We were made in exact copy an exact duplicate of God. So every single thing that you would think of that God can do, you can do because it's God doing it through you. It's the spirit. When you use the spirit side to handle your problem by seeing things correctly, by seeing things the way you want them done, by seeing things the way you prefer them to be, by seeing the house that you prefer to live in, and just see. Use these five magic words. Wouldn't it be nice if? Wouldn't it be nice if? If you use those five words, it will propel you into a place where your imagination is more vivid. Wouldn't it be nice if, wow, if I won the lottery? I mean, people are going to win it anyways, right? Someone's always winning it. Wouldn't it be nice if it was me, if it was my numbers that came up? Man, what would I do with that? And you can go down the list of the, of the way that you like it to be. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a bigger home? Wouldn't it be nice if... I had the job of my dreams. What would that look look like? If I was given whatever opportunity that I wanted, what would it be? Your imagination can take you there because it's going to give you awareness that you wouldn't normally, under normal circumstances, have. And if you don't have the awareness, you can't go there. So your imagination is going is that springboard. It's gonna it's gonna propel you to awareness that you didn't have before. And once you get that awareness, then you can go there. You, you can only go where your awareness takes you. Otherwise, even if, even if you're there without the awareness, to you, you were never there. You wouldn't remember that. You wouldn't know it. It doesn't exist for you. If you lose your watch or lose your key, you don't see your key. You don't have the awareness of your key currently in your reality.
so they're not there. But they could be very they could very well be in your pocket. Well, they were with you the whole time, but you had the awareness and the consciousness that they weren't there. And that's what was true for you. So it's gonna be your awareness. It's, you have, it has to be your knowledge of something or of some someone. To find that right person in your life, you have to know what it is that you want. And then you imagine things that way. You imagine it. Imagine, just, just imagine it. You can just imagine it. You can now go there. However you imagine, you have to imagine it the way you want it to be. Then you can go there because now you have the awareness of, the, of that existence. And now it's a suggestion for you that now you can, you can now pull that down out of the spiritual realm, deposit it into your heart. It's going to produce words and action to bring it forth into your uh, reality. I call it the system. The Bible calls it the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is a system. It's a process. And he he put that in each and every one of us to operate in this earth. There's nothing that you can't do. There's nowhere that you can't go. If you want something or need something, you just produce it. You just produce it. You never have to ask anybody for anything. Because it's like radio stations. You know, even though all the stations are broadcasting at the same exact time, you can only listen to the station that you tune into. So when you're an exact match for something, for whatever it is that, that you want, in frequency, like the radio station, in frequency, that's what comes in to you. That's what, that's what you're attracting. It's also attracting you. It's calling for you, saying, hey, I'm here. I'm here. Send the signal out. Okay, I'm here to give it to you. That's what it does. So when you imagine things as if, you know, you're already doing it. Just uh, almost as, okay, you can plan a trip and imagine how the trip is going to be by looking at photos and videos of where you're going. And that starts to get your imagination. Now, you can do that without looking at the photos and videos. And if you do it without the photos and videos, you can now create it the way you want it to be. You know, instead of it having to be the way that they took the video and what they're showing in the video. It's your life. You're going to build it the way you want it. And, and if you don't like something the way that it is, then how would you like it to be? Imagine that. Wouldn't it be nice if, and you fill in the blank. It's called the system or the kingdom. And the kingdom flows through you. It's in you. The kingdom of God is in you. It's inside of you. And using that, that system is how you're going to get all your needs met. It's how you're going to get all your desires fulfilled is how you're going to be able to uh, receive and give love. Everything is going to be giving and receiving. You're always going to be giving and you're always going to be receiving. Someone's always going to be sending a signal and someone's always going to be receiving the signal. Someone's always going to be accepting a suggestion and someone's always going to be you're, uh, rejecting a suggestion because they're leaving the things there that they don't want. When you shop at the grocery store, you don't come out with every single thing in the store. You look for what you want and you leave the rest for the ones that want that. And that's how it is. Everything that comes in to your mind, to your thoughts, to your imagination are suggestions. And yes, they are real. You have to believe that they're real for this to work for you because they are real. Everything starts from something that's in your mind. There is no product that exists today except it first being a thought in someone's mind. So this is how you're going to create your world. You have to imagine what you like. Imagine the enjoyment of it. A new car, watch YouTube videos if you have to of people driving that car. Get the feel for it so that when you get into your own car, Eventually, you start feeling like you're driving that car that you do want. And soon after, you'll have that particular car. It works every time. Every single, it works without fail. The problem is we see things in our imagination or as thoughts. And instead of accepting it as a truth, 
or a suggestion that I could actually have this thing. We begin to have a different imagination. And that's by going into the details of how we're going to get it. And if you start looking into the details, remember the devil is in the detail. When you start looking into the details, that will take you out of faith. It takes you out of faith. You cannot be looking for how it's going to happen and be in faith at the same exact time. It's impossible. Faith is just first seeing it and imagining it and knowing that it's a real suggestion for me. Like I can actually have this if I want it. I'm selecting it if I want it. When you select it, it's yours, and you're going to have it. That's what faith is. But if you start looking into the details of how it's going to come about, then that's when you drop out of faith. If you don't believe, you don't have faith, you can't get anything this way. Then you, then you have to continue um, with the system that's already currently in place in the world. You know, buy the house have the children, whatever it takes for you to get those things in the world through the world system is how you would have to do it. Now, for the rest of us, I mean, that prefer to live without limitation, this system will get you all of those things if you see things right. You see things in the way in which you produce those things. Instead of you going out to try to get those things, you're going to be able to produce those things and you'll see those things in your life as you believe it. Learning to believe the imagination is crucial. So believe the imagination. It's a suggestion for you. It's a thought to put your awareness there. Because if you put your awareness there, you can go there. Bad thoughts is what always gets people out of faith. They don't see the way how. The Bible says that you plant the seed You'll go to sleep, rise night and day, and that seed will spring up and you don't know how. Because you're not supposed to, to, to be concerned with the how. You're to be concerned with the system of creation. When you plant a seed in the ground, you're not concerned with how that seed turns into a plant. See, you're not concerned with that. But in your life, you're concerned with that. And that's what's, what's, what's hindering most of us from going to the next level going higher in ministry, going higher in business, it's what stops us. If we know what's causing things and what's making things happen, then, you know, we can decide what it is that we prefer to happen.